I'm Meg McNamara. Thanks so much for checking out this CBSBaltimore.com update. Hurricane Jose. So we are seeing maximum sustained winds at 80 miles an hour, and it has officially made that turn directly to the north. It is moving right around six miles an hour, but that northerly track going to keep it well away. It looks like from Maryland. So yes, we can expect some rip currents, some rough surf. I think some clouds and a few showers moving in. I'll show you that on the future cast. But other than that, uh, we're not talking about any extreme effects for our state. Now, Jose is not alone. He has some companies. So we have Tropical Storm Lee. Now, maximum sustained winds at 40 miles an hour, and we'll run the track there on Lee. And you can see right now moving to the west, right around 10 miles an hour. Still, obviously, very far out in the Atlantic. Too early to tell what's going to happen really beyond the next few days. Tropical Storm Maria, maximum sustained winds at 50 miles an hour. And this storm also moving to the west, though, although much more speedily, right around 20 miles an hour. And there's the latest track on that. So it does look by later on in the work week, right around Thursday. We do see Maria moving over Haiti the, towards the Dominican Republic, places like that. Of course, we will be keeping a close eye on the tropics. It's just that time of year. Temperature right now, we are at 82. South southwesterly winds right around three miles an hour. So, yes, a little humid out there. Temperatures mainly we're talking low 80s, a couple of us, kind of near that mid 80s range. As for these winds, rather quiet, it looks like, but certainly out of the south southwest. Now, the radar and satellite pretty quiet. You will notice just a few very isolated showers and we all could see a stray shower or two, but that's really the most that we can expect for our evening as far as rain goes. High pressure. So yes, that is dominating. Let's talk about the second half of the weekend. We'll start it off tonight there at midnight. Looks like partly cloudy skies through the overnight hours. Tomorrow will be a mix of clouds and sun. It does look like by early Monday morning, a small chance for a few showers popping up there. And then by Tuesday, you'll notice that would be Hurricane Jose. Still, though, well away from us. Notice we're just getting some of the bands of cloud cover there over portions there of eastern Maryland right across Delaware. So that's the most we're expecting as far as that rain chance. As for our bay forecast, it does look like tomorrow east winds right around five knots, pretty quiet. Tonight, we're eventually going to dip down into the mid 60s. If you are going to be driving late tonight, early Sunday morning, we could see some patchy fog. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds and that high of 83. Keep in mind, normal for this time of year, we are actually in the upper 70s. Okay, so tomorrow, obviously, big day for the Ravens. We're so excited and so glad to see that Mother Nature is cooperating. Uh, it looks like by kickoff, right around 80 degrees there. Our five day forecast Monday, barely making it out of the 70s, it looks like. And then by Tuesday, that's when we see that heavier cloud cover taking over. And that would be thanks to Jose. I'm Meg McNamara with an update coming up on WJZ.